previously on Space Janitors. I'm gonna be somebody someone's gonna want to shoot at. Yeah, but it's janitor right here, though, right? In the middle of a career change. Uh. Guys, Dark Lord, pure badass. Wait, so there's an opening on deck crew? Is that one of those laser swords? They must be rebels. Blast them. Oh, no, 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 no. Rebel! <laughs> The rebel plan to attack the station. You just ordered the invasion of an entire planet with only 1,500 men. The more they disobey the Emperor, the more we tighten our grip. And the more we tighten our grip, the more systems will be firmly held in our massive space hand. I was sent here by your father, Admiral Guldasak. My dad's a rebel? And now, the conclusion. not true that's impossible search your feelings no look son i anticipated this would be hard for you to believe yeah because you're totally charismatic no you're so inspiring and successful i can explain all of this son when the empire came to assimilate my planet i led the rebellion but i was forced to abandon my family to hide you from the Empire, you were genetically modified as a baby to mismatch your DNA from your mother and me. Many of the biological traits you would have inherited were erased for your own safety. Just to be sure, we even gave you a race transplant. Wait, so... I'm a fish? Yes, you were born a fish. Now, don't worry, my son. There are ways to restore you to your natural genetic origin. But it takes time and is incredibly painful. But I like who I am. <laughs> like who I am? No offense, son, but we put a lot of crap in your genes. We knew the Empire would be looking for a born leader, someone who knows when to take the initiative, someone with his father's good looks. Now more than ever, I need to reach out to you with the truth. I'm afraid that is all I can tell you. I know it is hard for you to hear, son, but you must make your way to the nearest rebel system. And once there... Stop you rebel scum! What's your name? Uh, Darby. Okay, I've already forgotten that, so I'm gonna call you Janitor. You know, Janitor, people like me and people like you have an understanding. You do your thing, and I do mine. As the old saying goes, I don't show up at your job and blast the dicks out of your mouth. Do you know why I don't blast the dicks from out of your mouth? Because there are no dicks in my mouth. Are you sure? Yeah. You better check just to be sure.
there are no dicks in my mouth. No, you know, you know, you know, just let me explain something to you, okay? When I'm in my raptor and I'm screaming through the Crux Nebula and I'm dropping out of warp nine, right in the middle of an Imperial fleet and blasters are lighting up all over the place and I'm busting crazy hacks on deflector shields and crash landing in your hangar bay and just ejecting right through the blast doors and I'm taking out squalls left and right. You know what the best part is to me? Seeing that shine, these pristine Imperial floors, man, you guys, you keep a clean space station. That subtle pine scent just, mm, just makes my day. Uh, thanks. Hey man, I just want you to know that I really, really appreciate what you're doing here. Keep up the good work, janitor. Oh. Although, here's an idea. You don't trip rebels, and we don't kill janitors. Hey, Mike, you remember what it's like to live on a planet? Yeah, sure. Dirt and all that? I always hated my home planet. When I was a kid, I lived with my aunt. Or at least I thought she was my aunt. She ran a moisture farm out in the desert. Which I always told her was really stupid running a moisture farm in the desert. I would have done anything to get off that rock. And one sure way to see the galaxy, just sign up and work for the Imperial fleet. Three years later, still a janitor. What do I have to show for it? Three squares and 80 credits a day, plus unlimited golf balls while supplies last. Here we are, traveling the galaxy, but we're still trapped in this cage. Blowing up planets. Dude, hit your ball. Let's go get some mush. Take a walk.